Tesla just cut prices in the US and Canada by 7,500 US dollars, which makes it more likely that Tesla is actually going to beat the analyst consensus for deliveries. Currently, there are quite a few Model S's and X's in inventory available. Tesla did a very similar thing for Model 3's and Y's and look what happened. The inventory just completely disappeared in about two to three days. The inventory for S's and X's has been steadily climbing up. And I was assuming perhaps Tesla is going to export these vehicles. It's no big deal. We literally just started exporting to Europe and China also. So you were not able to get a Model S or X in Europe until just now. So I thought this makes sense because you just flood the US market with these vehicles and then you focus on producing vehicles for Euro the European and the Chinese market as the inventory slowly starts to come down. As the new cars are produced not for local deliveries but for the European and Chinese market. Now this may not look like a lot of vehicles because it would only appear that we only have 1000 Model S's and X's in inventory. However, Tesla does not show the exact same car in the exact same configuration more than once in the same location. So chances are there is quite a bit more vehicles than just 1000. For Model 3's and Y's, then we were at the height here. I have seen estimates from credible sources saying that there could be as many as 10 or 12 times more, maybe even more in inventory. So if you only see a thousand vehicles here, Tesla could have had maybe as many as 10,000 Model 3's and Y's in inventory actually. I would assume though that because these are much lower volume vehicles, it's not going to be 10,000 vehicles in inventory, but probably it's significantly higher than what we see here. And look how fast the cars have been leaving inventory just one hour after the announcement of a discount already a good portion of that inventory got reduced. This discount is making it more likely that Tesla is going to beat the new analyst consensus which stands currently at 418,000 deliveries for the fourth quarter. Here are the estimates. Now the estimates for the Model S and X right here may be wrong because this came out before Tesla announced this price cut. So we'll see what happens. We will have the most important estimate tomorrow from Troy. He provides the most accurate estimates of all. Today was the last trading day of 2022 and we closed 1.12% higher today and Tesla is now trading at 22 forward PE. Tesla stock is on sale despite 2022 being a record across the board for Tesla, record profits, record deliveries, record production, multiple factories opening, FSD beta going to a wide release, and so much more. These right here are Wall Street estimates for deliveries. You can see for this year, 1.3 to 5 million, then 1.8 million, then 2.3-ish million, 2.7 million, 3.2-ish million for 2026. That doesn't seem like a lot of growth that Wall Street is projecting, which is good because that means the growth is not priced in. Let's convert these numbers into percentages. It is much more easier to view them this way. And this is what we have. So we have Wall Street projecting Tesla to grow at 40%, then a year after that, 24% only, then 17% only, and then 18.5% only. Shouldn't they just short Tesla stock then? Well, you know, some of them will <laughs> and they will probably get wrecked really badly i mean you're telling me that tesla is only going to increase its deliveries by 20 percent year over year 
Elon replied to this tweet right here. I've seen so many people within the community freak over the past several weeks, and yet Elon Musk has continued to reiterate his commitment to Tesla. Indeed, so many people just losing their minds. If you want to ruin your day, just go to Twitter. If you want to stay happy, just let me go, and then I'll show you what actually makes sense. There are so many ridiculous things that people say on Twitter that you just don't want to see. Just such a waste of time. The Tesla team is killing it and pushing hard to end the quarter well during these recession headwinds. Elon is telling us one more time. Long-term fundamentals are extremely strong, short-term market madness is unpredictable. Maybe we will get a bigger discount for Tesla stock, we'll see. And if you think that Elon cannot find more ways to increase margins, think one more time, look at what he has done with Twitter. Twitter employees using own toilet paper offices stink. Whoa. Well, Elon did say it was true for half a day. Now, there is a little bit of a reason to be concerned, although I don't think that we should really be afraid, but you should see this. Elon replied to this thread about Tesla by saying sensible thread. There were a few things that I thought were mm, maybe not exactly actually nowhere near right about Tesla. So that's a little bit concerning. But I maybe Elon did not read the whole thing. So let's take a look. In 2020, Tesla delivered 353 cars short of the 500,000 goal they had set for themselves in 2014, a goal considered impossible by critics and analysts alike. With this milestone behind them, they set themselves a new and equally challenging goal. In January of 2021, this was the guidance from Tesla. Over a multi-year horizon, we expect to achieve 50% average annual growth in vehicle deliveries. In some years, we may grow faster. The rate will depend on our equipment capacity, operational efficiency and capacity, and stability of the supply chain. Many times, Tesla also reiterated our own factories have been running below capacity for several quarters as supply chain became the main limiting factor, which is likely to continue through 2022. So then Larry takes the numbers from 2020, adds 50% year over year growth. And for 2022, this is significantly below of consensus right now, which is at one point three to five million. So of course it is great to see that Tesla is way ahead of its own guidance. And this is where you really want to pay attention and I strongly disagree with Larry here. I'll show you exactly why. So why are many including highly respected industry and investment analysts and even knowledgeable Tesla community members saying that the current expectation of about 1.3 million cars would represent a miss when the numbers clearly show it as a beat of 200,000 vehicles. It seems that the pundits reset the baseline for the 50% growth with each beat of the target. Cherry picking, perhaps? I won't really say that, but just look for yourself and then I will show you what Elon actually said. Zach stated, we're on track for the 50% annual growth, clearly referencing the standard guidance. Elon was at pains to stress the average rate of 50% of compound growth of fluctuations from one year to the next. And Larry provides this, which if you only read this, okay, yeah, maybe you could make that explanation sound somewhat reasonable if you didn't have more context. Troy replied with this, with a link to the audio call of the earnings call. Nonetheless, we, we, we do expect uh, significant growth in 2022 over 2021. Um, 
you know, comfortably above 50% growth in, in 2022. So here we go. This is the exact transcript of what Elon said. 2022 over 2021, you know, comfortably above 50% growth in 2022. This would have been such a great thread if not for the word that Larry used here, stating clearly referencing to the standard guidance. Ouch. Let's be very realistic with our facts. I'm a Tesla bull, but we don't need to try to spin something that it is clearly not. This is nothing personal against Larry. It looks like he is a Tesla stock bull. I love Tesla stock bulls. I'm just correcting uh, a fact here just so that you guys know what to actually expect so that you don't get caught by surprise. But it was a little bit worrisome that Elon said sensible Fred. But I am sure that Elon did not finish reading it. He just probably read the beginning only. And these are 48 reasons why I only own Tesla stock in my stock portfolio. My name is Matt Postis. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.